Hi everyone, welcome back. <laughs> welcome now to a time of quiet and of meditation. And I encourage you, as I bring you into the quiet and the silence, I open you up to then allow God to work through you and to help you see what you need to see, to help you hear what God would like you to hear, to have you feel what God would have you feel. It is in this quiet space where God is most accessible because we let go of the blocks and the busyness. So I encourage you to get very still. Just let go of everything, anything you might have brought into this space with you, any worries, any troubles, any thoughts about the world for now, any worries about what you have to do and attend to, not for this moment. This is between you and God. So breathe deeply and freely. Allow yourself to relax and just enjoy the sweetness, the knowing that God is with you. God is in all of this. And I can't wait to see what God's going to do. So I go into my silent space and I ask God, what is mine to do? Send me where you would have me go. Put words in my mouth that you would have me speak. Help me do that which is mine to do. As the Fillmores would say, I zealfully go to do God's work. I literally sizzle with that zeal to do what is mine to do for God. So let's breathe, relax. Close your eyes if you like, and just let go. Just feel your physical essence just melt into your soft, comfortable chair. Relax, calm everything. Feel the muscles from the top of your head all the way through your cheeks, through your neck through your shoulders, your chest, your arms, your legs, your feet. Feel everything relax. Allow yourself to feel that flow, that energy that is constantly flowing through you. Cleaning, cleansing, renewing, rejuvenating. Allow that. That is God's love pouring for through you, filling you, just absorb God's love and energy. Allow that to fill your room and hold you in this sacred temple where God is. And focus now on the center of your forehead, deep within your brain. Allow yourself to see a little bud, a little rose bud, begin to open, begin to open wider and wider and wider as the sun, the shine of God kisses each petal and flows nutrition through. Your soul opens and blooms and you realize you are a vessel. And it is not your will, but God's. And we ask, thank you, God, where would you have me go in this moment today? Excuse me. That's God. Can't wait to see where I'm going. Mm. What would you have me do? Who would you have me see and speak with? As I polish off that inner lens, making way for your reflection, I am yours, God. I am yours. Lead me. I am yours. Lift me. I am yours. Fill me and empty.
empty me so I may be filled again. I have everything I need that you have filled in me to do your work in this ministry we call inhabiting earth. I take on that responsibility with and for you. And I lift those people in Lebanon as a shining example and a shining city of who the human spirit is when you are allowed to reign. I lift our country to this level of light being. Oh, it feels so grand. I lift this world as our genius scientists create these safety measures to move this society forward. We help the spirit evolve and the consciousness raise so we see new ways to take care of each other. Your precious haven it is all yours. And we give all for you in loving service. Oh, thank you, God. For those of you ready to come back to this space, you may do so at any time. You are only a breath away from the very peace and guidance of God. And as soon as you ask, the phone will ring. No more do you get the question out. The answer is there. For the answer is always in the question to God. We're going to shine this week a reflection of that brilliant silver. We're going to raise and go above and beyond what we thought was possible because we got it. Thank you. I love you. Thank you for your patience with us. God loves you. We'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye.